Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this smiley face. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web, click OK. Change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Dark Yellow. Press the letter L to select the Ellipse tool and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard Draw a big circle. Now we will lighten the top left corner. To do that, select the Mesh tool and click somewhere here. Then click over here and down here. Next, using the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point. Double click on the yellow color. Change the color mode to HSB and move the saturation slider to about 47%. Now, click on the arrow in layer 1 to see the sublayer and let's lock the mesh layer. Next we'll draw an open eye. Let's change the fill color to black. Press L for the ellipse tool and holding the shift and alt keys on your keyboard draw a small circle. Next let's duplicate it. Press V for the selection tool and holding the alt key on your keyboard move it down to make a copy. Zoom in and let's change the color of the bottom circle to white. Now press V to select it and let's resize it. And place it about right here. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. Now select both circles, right click and select group. And place it over here. Next we will draw just an eyebrow. Let's change the fill color to black. Press L for the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Let's duplicate it again. Press V to select it and holding the Alt key on your keyboard move it down to make a copy. Select both circles and let's delete the front part. Go to Pathfinder and select minus front. Let's zoom in. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. Rotate it. And place it about here. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Now select both shapes and we will cut out the bottom part. Go to Pathfinder and select minus front. Now let's move it over here. And make few more adjustments. And now we will draw a smile. Press L to select the ellipse tool. And let's draw a circle. Duplicate it again, select both and cut out the top part. Press Ctrl and R keys to bring up the ruler. Click on the top ruler, hold and drag it down to about here. Zoom in. Now we will make this end rounded. Select the Add Anchor Point tool and let's add two extra anchor points, one here and one on this side. 
Now select the delete anchor point tool and click on this anchor point and that one. Press the control and semicolon keys to hide the guideline. Now select the rectangle tool, draw a small rectangle, rotate it and place it here. Select both shapes and again let's cut the top part. Go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. Now we will add a cheek line. Select the rounded rectangle tool and draw a small rectangle. Let's zoom in. Go to Effect, Warp and choose Arch. Set the bend to negative 27 and click OK. Now go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Next we will connect these two parts together. Let's move this one up. Select both. Rotate it. And place it here. Now unlock the mesh layer, select all and move it to the center. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.